Drills evolved so much over the years, but one style that's still popping right now, especially in New York with artists such as Kyle Rich and producers like Crossfinger, is Jerk Drill. Some call it Hood Trap, and it's got a really unique bounce compared to UK Drill, but still takes influence from it with some of the signature sounds. You'll hear a lot of sample flips too, and I've already shown you how to make these beats from scratch, so in this video, I'm going to break down how to flip samples, lay in new ideas, program drums, handle mixing, and basically everything else you need to make fire Jerk Drill beats. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing I do is usually have a quick listen through, see if I like any parts, and I also match it with the project BPM. For this one, let's go for 145. But I need to work out the sample BPM, so I usually just find a part that has some transients. I just mean those peaks in the waveform, like here. Because right there, there's some drums, so I can easily count it. So I right-click on the BPM, select tap. So I know it's somewhere around 84. Also, I get rid of that silence at the beginning. And then you can see if the transients line up. Even just by looking at this, visually I can see it's a little bit off. Just from working with so many samples, I know this is going to be the start of the phrase where it peaks up. See where that first drum comes in. So let's move that up to 85. And now I can see that's right. You could turn the metronome on and check. So now we know the sample's 85 BPM, but we want to take this to 145. And for jerk drill, I've heard some slower stuff around like 130 and even some faster stuff going up to almost 160. I think anything around 140 tends to work well. So there's two ways you could do this. You could double click and set this to stretch and then just bring the BPM up to 145 or whatever you need. Or you could bring the BPM up first, click here, select fit to tempo, type in BPM and type in 85. Now from here, you can chop things in Slice X, Fruity Slicer, anything like that. But I actually like to do it in the playlist. I find it a bit quicker. Find some parts that I like. Or we could click in there and hit reverse. And now we could click through. Ooh, see straight away. That sounds crazy. And because we reversed it, you might just have to readjust it. That actually sounds hard. We could pitch it up. I think I want to do something like this. And then just let this one play through. That sounds cool. So to make cuts, I just press C to activate the cut tool. I hold shift and left click and I just cut on the grid. This bit's a bit too empty, so I'm going to mute that. For the mute tool, just hit T and then left click and then P to go back to the select tool. So let's have this repeat. Let's hear this next bit as well. It sounds a bit different, but that's going to work. And I think we could probably just follow that same pattern. So repeat this there and then have this play through. Crazy. But I don't like that ending as much as this one. So we'll just click there, click here. We'll use this one instead. Crazy. And then I usually look for something a bit more subtle that we could use for the verse. <sighs> Straight away, that sounds crazy. Just for some consistency, let's actually repeat that process here. Because we could add to this, we could build on it. So this is why I like it in the playlist. I find it easier to find ideas. Yeah, let's repeat that. So I'm really feeling the chops we've got. I'm going to select here, right click and select consolidate this track. And what I think might be good to have on a separate track right now is the vocals and maybe those sort of shaker sounds that we can hear. And stuff like that used to be really hard to separate, but it's 2025, man. We've got the right tools to help now. So I'm going to pull up Lander Stems, which is an AI stem separator. And yes, some doors have a stem separator built in, but they're not all that good and not every door has one. So this is a really nice, simple one that everyone can use. So I'm just going to drag the rendered sample in. And now it's going to analyze the audio. Okay, so as you can see, it's done its thing. So let's have a listen to the vocals only. So that's like fully isolated it. This is the drums. So you can just hear it, but it's going to help take that shaker sound away or the hats. So this is everything. Remute the drums. That's going to help a lot. 
I just thought it would be good to separate them because maybe we could process the vocals a bit different or have some sections without them. Now, full disclosure, Landa have sponsored this video, but I don't get paid to say anything specific. I just get access to the tools and then I can show you guys the ones that I think you'll benefit from. I'm really picky with what I promote too, but I really like Landa as a company and I really like the service that they offer, especially Landa Studio because that's the main service that gives you access to everything. There's over 40 plugins included from companies such as Spitfire, Arturia and Sonascore on top of their own. 1800 royalty free sample credits from a library of over 3 million and unlimited distribution with human support so you can get your music on all major streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. So I'm going to show you some of the tools throughout the video but if you want to check out Lander Studio at any point just click the link in the description or scan this QR code. All right so I'm going to mute those drums for now. We might even want to change the pitch as well. Let's go with that. Let's keep those dark vibes. The next thing I like to do is just add a few of my own touches. So maybe a couple of instruments, some textures. For example, in this verse, it's quite open. So I'm hearing some sort of keys on top. And we'll use the originals Intimate Grand Piano by Spitfire because this is one of the ones that comes with Lander Studio. Then I've just thrown on this in another room preset from Lander Electric. So this plugin was made for electric instruments like guitars, but there's no rules, man. And plus I really liked that preset. It makes it blend in a bit more. I like how simple they are as well. I can just pick a preset and then blend it. Like the vocals, for example, maybe we could add land of voice. And because we got the vocal stem separated, we could process this different. Yeah, that's the one. See what I'm saying? So this is before. And then with. This makes it a lot brighter and spacious. I just want to get some quick ideas down. So I'm going to pull up Lando Chromatic. Let's see what we could add. Maybe cinematic textures. Yeah, hard textures could work. It's been a reverb up though. I think just that, just a subtle one in some parts. So if I add this note and then this one as well, it will have time it. Maybe that. So I'm happy with the sample now. Let's get the drums in. I'm going to go to the Dominion drum kit. And we'll start with something like this. So the main pattern is just like this. You start on the one, go to the third red one. Then on the next red block, add one here. And then I usually like to add one here, here, and there. Then if you hit F7 for the piano roll, I usually turn this one down. Or you could get rid of those and do something like this. And then add the double there. So that'll be the first one. And then we just want to start layering a few snares. Let's try this one. Like a standard trap, usually you'd have a main snare just hitting on the three. But for these beats, you don't even really need that. But it might work with this. Let's skip every other one though. And I think I want to layer that with something heavier. I really like the shand one. Or we'll switch it up like this. Could use this breath one too. See where it works. Maybe another one here. Let's grab this maxed one. We'll just have this at the end. And then for a bit of a drill influence, we'll go to Planet Drill and we'll take a count snare. We'll just use that at the end. We could even layer some. All right, next up, we're going to add an eight weight. We're going to use the classic spins, but I'm going to show you how to make it sound way harder. So we'll set it to cut itself and we'll change the envelope so we can control the length. Now what I'm going to do is grab one of these top layers. I think something like this. And same with that, we'll adjust the envelope. Now what I'm going to do is pull up layer. I'm going to highlight the spins and that top layer and then select set children. And now it's going to link those two sounds together. So when I press the C note, for example, that sounds crazy. Now with the hood trap 808 pattern, you're really just following the pattern of the snare or at least the first three. Or you could do and then add three here. Let's send these to mixes as well. In that sample bus, I'm just going to take out some of that low end just to save room for the bass. It's also fine where it's sounding muddy. Maybe that. Let's copy this. And we can 
pitch these up. Sounds mad with that top layer, but I want it to be a little bit more subtle. So I'm gonna increase the out. And maybe we could try something kind of random. We'll pull up Lander Beats. Let's try some of these presets. That might be the one. We'll take some lows out of there as well. Let's add a second 8 weight. I really like this overtone one. And this will just be for some filler notes. Let me show you a lander bass as well, and you'll see why I really like these simple ones. We can just add some quick mixing presets. That just adds a lot of sub to it. Yeah, that one sounds hard. Could even try some drill eight weights instead of that one. Yeah, that sounds hard as well. One more thing we could do for bounce is layer that main snare with this counter snare, but then on this counter snare, we'll just add a bit of delay. So it's just so. Let's get some more sounds in. Maybe an open hat. We'll grab some glitches as well. These glitches that I'm adding now aren't really common in jerk drill, but I'm just trying to turn it into something else. Just add a bit of reverb on those. Ball pan, some to the left and some to the right. So now I've just added a few more of those glitches right here. Kind of got a super trap influence. Definitely get a drum fill in there as well. Try this one. Crazy. Let's get this transition in as well. And then for some drill influence, let's get a couple of these in. So we could even get something like the classic drill snuff. You know what, I'm actually hearing one more melodic thing. I want to see if I can find a flute somewhere. So let's go to phrases. Let's try one like this. Just a small one like this. Just for some quick processing, let's pull up Lander Acoustic. Let's do some reverb. Maybe some Dark Hall. There we go. Alright, I think that's enough layers. I don't really need to add anything else, but I need a second 8 weight pattern. So let's split the drums and we'll copy them across. I'll save this 8 weight for the second half. And in the second half of the 8 weights, we'll pitch this up. <laughs> Then right end, we could just do something like this. Chop this, maybe. And then for the bridge, we could bring that piano in. Then have a similar 808 pattern, but maybe just change the sound. Bring this count snare in as well. All right, let's have a listen from the beginning. So I've just got the melody without the vocals for the intro. Feeling this one. 
if you were then let me know in the comments and if you want to check out lander studio for yourself the link's in the description for more videos just like it then click up here